Hi. <clears throat> Hello there. <clears throat> hey there, I am Chris Palmer with chrispalmer.org. In this video, what I'd like to walk through is where do you build GSA search engine ranker backlinks? Where do you build them to? Now, I'm really talking to you, business owners, because these are the types of websites that myself and my agency primarily work on. You know, plumbers, roofers, chiropractors, law firms. And you know as well as I do that building could be considered spam your links to the asset directly is generally not going to be recommended by anyone, regardless of the hat type they wear right? We can both agree on this, correct? So what I want to lay out for you, because I get this question so often, Chris, where are you building them? What is the process and how can I do this for myself? So in today's GSA search engine ranker video, before I go get a, a slice of pizza, <laughs> I want to walk you through the process of how you can build links safely to your assets without building them directly and who I'm really aiming to help is you, business owner. Regardless of the type of asset that you have, I'll walk you through the process right now. How to fire up GSA. I'm not going to give a tutorial. I have plenty of videos on that. But I am giving a tutorial on, hey, which backlinks do I send them to? How do I pull those out? What do I need to do? Where do I send them? That's what I'm walking through right now. I do not want to waste any time. Let's get directly into this tutorial on where to send the backlinks using GSA SCR if I'm a local business website. Let's walk through this. So of course you're going to need, and I just cleared off these projects here. So of course we're going to need GSA Search Engine Ranker, okay? It's also highly recommended and I'm not sponsored. There's no lists, you know, like I don't have a link to GSA. Like I'm not promoting the software. The only thing that I'm offering here is how to utilize it. And if you're going to use it, here's the best ways that I have found to use it and how we use it within the agency. And then on top of that, I can promote chrispalmer.org. All right, but there's no affiliates. There's no opportunities. Yes, we offer a list to help your success rate, but you don't even need a list. So chrispalmer.org for any and all of your SEO needs. Enough, right? Let's get into this. All right, because I'm kind of in a hurry, but this is a stream. All right, so uh, let's go back over here and let's make sure that you have GSA open and running. Check. The next thing that you're going to need is a tool such as SEMrush or Ahrefs, Majestic, or an equivalent that can pull backlink information. Now, here's what we're going to want to do. You will want to go ahead and set up your GSA search engine ranker. And I'm going to go ahead and just give you the briefest thing that you're going to need. You're going to need to know about this section here. This is the URL section under data. All right. See how this says edit and you can actually add or import from a clipboard. All right. This section here, along with, of course, your other details, which I'm not going to get into today, is where you're going to need to add the list of places to send the backlinks to. So here's what I would recommend doing, and this is the process, very brief, all right? So let's say, for instance, that you were to have a website, all right? And let's say that you got a link list, a PDF format or an XLSX, a spreadsheet, from, say, a press release or perhaps your citation list, or your directory list, your niche specific directory list, or citation list, or any of these types of assets that you've already built to your website, your homepage, your internal pages, these are links that already exist. For instance, this is just a hypothetical situation here, right? Let's say we're going to chrispalmer.org, okay? Let's say that this is your website. What we're looking for is already existing URLs, all right, so what you'll do is you'll come into one of your favorite tools and we're looking to run a backlink analysis report. So what you will do is this, you're gonna come over here to backlinks, okay? So all the backlinks that are currently pointing in here that are going to be follow, okay? So you will go to follow, all right? 
And then what we want to look for is anything that's English. I don't think that that really matters, but let's go to advanced filters, exclude, um, well, for sake of example here, I, I don't want to go in there and excluding anything because your situation might be different, but you can exclude to only show one link from each domain, all right? But maybe your case is different. So I, I don't want to tell you that you only have to do this, but what we're looking to do is we're looking for at least the follow. We want some mobile friendly, okay? We want to make sure that they're active links, right? This is stuff that's actually here, all right? So at the bare minimum, it's here, it's follow, all right? And it's mobile friendly. Most notably, I'm just showing you this as an example. You can take all of the existing links, not recommended, but what I want to get at is an Excel sheet. So we'll export this to Excel, okay? Now, generally, when you're getting your citation reports, when you're getting your press release reports, niche-specific citations, any of your directories, niche category directories, any links that you build that aren't guest posts or high quality already, right? Just directories, just your simple stuff. Links that already exist that you're building to your homepage or your internal pages that aren't a private PBN, right? These aren't guest posts or privately held websites. These are huge conglomerates where I have a page on say Yelp, or I have a page on say Easy Local, or I have a page on, you know, Chiropractor Connect or Expertise. Any of these links, right, that you get inside of a report that are already built to your site, or you can go into your site, find stuff that's active, find stuff that's follow, find stuff that's mobile friendly, grab your list, export your list. Here, let's come back into here. We'll go to downloads, okay? And then what you'll wanna do is take your download list. We're gonna open up an Excel sheet. I'm gonna use uh, Sheets, Google Sheets. We all have Google Sheets. If you're using Google Chrome, it's free. We all have it, so that way this makes this very easy. We'll open up Sheets and get our report. Whether this report came from a link vendor or a citation builder, a press release builder, anything. Whether you're just exporting the list from Ahrefs or Majestic or SEMrush, you're going to take your report just like this. You're going to bring it into here. You're going to open this up. Okay. Now again, I'm using my site just so I can get a list, but generally you're looking for citations, press releases, links that already exist or are about to exist, or you can look for lower quality links and get yourself a list just like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out this right here. I'm going to grab my source so we can take this. We can remove this target URL. So here's the source URL. So all of this stuff, we can go ahead and delete all of these filters. Now we have just a source list. Now, it can be in your absolute best interest to go ahead and clean off any of the duplicates. Again, some tools, most to tools, almost all tools, will go ahead and have an exclude feature in order to only showcase one of the most powerful links from an asset. But just for sake of argument, maybe you're using a manual scraper. I'm just showing you this the completely manual way. So I'm going through, I've pulled out a link list. Now what you can do is you can clean up your link list in order to only include one link or at least take out some of these, right? So this is just for example, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna delete all these, okay? And let's say that we have a clean list. What I'll do then is hit control C grab all of the URLs that are actual URLs. So like stuff like this, where it's going to be parameter rich or redirect rich, something like this. I generally get rid of this, okay? But it's up to you. I'm looking for clean URLs much like this. But what I'll do is I'll do a control C. I'll open up a text document like this, control V. Make sure that it's all in a nice clean order. Make sure I've cleaned out, gotten rid of duplicates or gotten rid of backlinks that have a lot of other external backlinks already on the page. This way I can really seclude the page rank in order to pass to me. Like if it has more than 50 outbound links on it, we probably 
you know, me pushing GSA to it isn't going to really help, right? But if it's a citation or a directory or a press release that only has my stuff on it, it's my page, essentially, then we'll get all those links inside of a list just like this. We'll hit Control A. We'll open up our GSA software and hopefully our captcha breaker or maybe you have xrummer system running to answer captchas and what we're going to do here is we're going to hit edit and what we want to do is we want to add urls so add urls or my i'm sorry import from clipboard okay so now that entire list three thousand urls now that whole list has been loaded into my url target list so now I'm able, when I fire up GSA, right, I have 3,088 backlinks, tier ones, pointing at my website, could be tier one, tier two, mostly tier one, pointing at my website. And what I'm going to do is build a tier two. How do I do this? Well, I've loaded all the targets in here. Now I'm going to make my selection. I'm going to fill out all the information that's required. I'll go into my options change all the stuff. I have tutorials on how to do this properly or how to maximize results, fill out all the information, create your article like this, set up your email, come over here, go to your options, go to your submissions, crank up your threads, maybe a hundred, maybe 150, maybe even 200, depending on your system or your VPS, set up your captcha, make sure it's going to your captcha breaker, go in here to this right here, uh, my mistake here, uh, configure your proxies, load your proxies in there, and then hit start, fire it up, and now you're effectively building a tier two to all of your tier one links. And this is how you build links to your links. This is how you power up what you already have without hurting your main asset. This is how I maximize power for the links that I'm building to the sites that we're building them to. I... I'm able to maximize power for a low, low cost, right? I'm able to get more out of what already is there, especially if it's going to be press releases, citations, or directories of any type pointing to any page. I do not recommend building these GSA links directly to your website unless you are fine, 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 fine combing through these links. But for the mass majority of us, myself included, what I'm looking to do is point these links to links that already exist. I hope this is helpful. If you need a GSA list, check out chrispalmer.org. Scroll to the bottom, you'll see GSA, Search Engine Ranker List. We have lists available. If you need help setting up GSA, or if you have questions about this tutorial, if there's something I can help you out with, check out chrispalmer.org or leave a question in the section below. I answer all questions that are relevant to the videos and you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in the next GSA search engine ranker where do I build these backlinks video have a great day bye bye all right all right it's been a blessing I need to go and get pizza for myself and my family I ordered it and then I wanted to make a video here but J5 thank you for coming on tweeted hey Chris hello to you school me how do you charge Per month, how much do I charge? Twenty-five to four thousand and up. It just depends on your situation. Book a time. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, tweeted when this stream started. This stream started thirteen minutes and forty-eight seconds ago. But it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for your time. Check out chrispalmer.org for consulting services, GSA lists, everything, and have a great day. Bye bye.